analogy for Jerry. Jerry, my friend, you've done it again. Even in your silence, the familiar pressure comes to bear, demanding I pull words from the air with only this morning and part of this afternoon to compose an ode worthy of one so particular about every turn of phrase, demanding it hit home in a thousand ways before making it its own. And this I can't do alone. Now that the singer is gone, where shall I go for the song? Without your melody and taste to lend an attitude of grace, a lyric is an orphan thing, a hive with neither honey's taste nor power to truly sting. What choice have I but to dare and call your music? who thought to rest out of thin blue air, that out of the field of shared time, a line or two might chance to shine. As ever when we called in hope, if not in words, the muse descends. Right on. How should she desert us now? Scars of battle on her brow, bedraggled feathers on her wings, and yet she sings, she sings. May she bear thee to thy rest, the ancient bower of flowers beyond the solitude of days, the tyranny of hours, the wreath of shining laurel lie upon your shaggy head, bestowing power to play the lyre to the legions of the dead. If some part of that music is heard in deepest dream or on some breeze of summer, a snatch of golden theme, we'll know you live inside us with love that never parts. Our good old Jack of Diamonds becomes the king of hearts. <laughs> I feel your silent laughter at sentiments so bold that dare to step across the line to tell what must be told. So I'll just say, I love you, which I never said before. And let it go at that, old friend. The rest you may ignore. And then this short one is from me, the old psychedelic relic, Jer. We're a double dip. <laughs> this is a haiku for Jerry on the day of his demise. The fat man rocks out. <laughs> Hinges fall off heaven's door. Come on in, says Bill.
for coming on being with us, Jerry. I also want to thank the city of San Francisco for moving all of the athletic events that were scheduled here today so we could gather at the Polo Field.